Well, good evening, everyone, or good morning, or good afternoon, or whatever time of day it is, where you are. Thank you all very much for joining me for this week's Meals of the Week. It's lovely to see you all as usual. So yeah, thank you for popping over. If you're new and you're not normally here, this is What's For Tea. My name is Cheryl and this is just the part of the week where I show you what I made for the family meals during the week. We call it tea, you might call it dinner, but whatever you call it, it's the main meal of the day. But just before I move on, I wanted to say a massive thank you to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page. So thank you all very much, folks. And I'll leave a link to my Patreon just underneath this video if you want to go and check it out for yourself. So yeah, so let's go and see what we had this week, starting off on Monday all the way through till today, which is Sunday. And I'll have a selection of your comments just at the end of Meals of the Week from my videos if you want to hang on and listen or watch those. And also, I've, got, I've just hit 40,000 subscribers, so thank you all so, so much for your continued support. And I have got a separate video on the way with a wee giveaway announcement. So make sure to look out for that one as well if you're interested in entering. It's going to be an international giveaway, so anybody can get involved. But let's go and see what I made for the meals this week. Starting off on Monday, and we had one of our favourites, which is mince and tatties. The good weather last week has now been replaced by a lot of wind and rain and sort of stormy weather. So we've had quite a few warmer meals this week instead of the sort of salady type meals we've been having. So yeah, one of our favourites anyway, which we could eat no matter what the weather's like. So it's a mashed potato, it's a mashed turnip. That's the mince there and we also had some garden peas and I'll leave the recipe for this in the description box underneath this video and in fact I do that with all of the meals you know if I've done a video on them you will find them underneath the video. Moving on to Tuesday, something else we have quite a lot, but again, it's a big, big favourite in the house and it's, it's exactly as it sounds, cheeseburger pasta bake and we just love this. It's macaroni with some ground beef or mince, there's tomato soup in there, cheese, onions, mushrooms, so everything you would find in a cheeseburger all thrown together and baked in the oven and it's wonderful. We had some garlic bread and some tomatoes and basil on the side and again I'll leave a recipe, a video recipe for this underneath the video. Moving on to Wednesday and with pork chops, I managed to get to the butcher so I picked up a few things from there. So these are pork loin chops and we had chips for a change, some sautéed mushrooms and some buttered corn and a couple of onion rings. Now I'd usually have tomato with this but nobody wanted tomato and again really tasty for quite a, you know, a cold day. Moving on to Thursday, you'll have seen these already if you watched the recipe, but again, I'll leave the recipe underneath the video. These were the individual steak and gravy pies that I made with some mashed potato and some green beans, and these were just to die for. Absolutely sinful in calories, but delicious. Moving on to Friday, and we had beef stew. I had some beef that I had to use up, which I didn't use in the pies. So I made a beef stew in the slow cooker and made some new potatoes and some peas on the side. And there's a rogue pea just there that you can see. And I've done a recipe for beef stew before. And again, I'll leave this in the show more box underneath the video if you want to go and check it out. Moving on to yesterday and I made cottage pie, another wet rainy day. So I had some broccoli and cauliflower and that's the cottage pie there. Now I just remembered that I hadn't actually shown you me putting it onto the plate so I'm going to do that again. So it's basically mince and tatties all combined and again this is one of our favourites. We love mince and tatties or mince and mashed potatoes in any form and this is just so tasty and comforting. And again, I'll leave the recipe for this in the show more box underneath the video if you want to go and check it out for yourself. Moving on to today and we just had chicken breasts. So like I said, I managed to get to the butcher. So I picked up some chicken breasts, which I roasted in the oven with some carrot and parsnip mash, some roast potatoes, some cauliflower cheese, 
and some stuffing balls on the side with a wee bit of gravy. And this is nice for a wee change. And somebody actually asked me, you know, why don't you ever do like a Sunday roast? And it's just not something I was ever brought up with because we had so much meat, you know, during the week that come Sunday, it wasn't really special to get meat, which I think would have been the case back in the day when Sunday lunch or Sunday dinner or a Sunday roast would have been quite a big deal because they maybe wouldn't have been having so much meat. So that's just why. I mean, I was never really... Uh, we did have the odd roast dinner now and again, but it wasn't exclusively for a Sunday. So I've just kind of kept that going. But yeah, we had the chicken today, which was very tasty. So thank you all very much for joining me for this week's Meals of the Week. And uh, cheerio if you're leaving at this point and hope to see you during the week. For those of you staying on, this is just a wee selection of your comments from my videos during the week. So let's go and see what you were saying this week. So your first comment this week is from Ms Anne Passad. I think that's how you pronounce that. You really shouldn't complain about Jasper being nosy. When I come home with my shopping, my Jack Russell Terrier doesn't greet me. He's too... Yeah, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't complaining. I mean, we love him to bits, you know, we do love him to bits. He always does that though, you know, when I come back with the, the shopping or any kind of bags, he rushes through just to see if there's anything for him and nine times out of 10 there are. So he's just a wee character and we love him to bits. That's Jasper, if you're new here. So yeah, I really wasn't complaining. Uh, what else we written? I've been quite used to squash tomatoes and flattened bread. Well, as he's a wee cat, you know, he doesn't really get into the bags, but he certainly has a wee sniff round and, and checks when things are getting brought out the bag just to see if he can see any of his own wee bits and bobs because I think he does recognise them. So thanks for your comment. Next comment is from Monsieur Lawop. He's written, or she's written, I see you bought the bottle of Encona. That should keep you going until Monday, I imagine. And yeah, uh, Mr. Uh, Monsieur Lawop is actually a long-term subscriber and obviously knows my love for hot sauce. And in particular, these Encona ones are my absolute favourite. Now, they're, they're, they are hot anyway, but I noticed this one and it's extra hot which I've never seen before so I reckon that's going to be super hot and yet yeah, I do go through it quite quickly so hopefully it'll last me a bit longer than till Monday because I do have a couple of, a couple of bottles still there but yeah lovely to see you as usual and thank you for your comment. Next comments from one Miss Willie. I wish I could see that lovely face that goes with your beautiful voice, my friend. I always enjoy your videos and whenever they pop up, I know I'm going to be happy watching them. My favourite ones are on Sunday, which is when you show what's for tea the whole week. Yummy. You never fail to make my mouth water. All the best to you and the Mr and family, including Jasper. Much love from America. Well, thank you very much for your lovely comment yeah I mean I do post pictures over on my Instagram which I will leave on the screen just now so you can go and follow me over there this is me and I do post pictures of myself from time to time and I am building up to appearing on the channel as well that's something that's definitely on the cards because so many of you are saying you know it'd be lovely to see you in the videos and doing your thing so it's definitely something that I will be looking to do in the future so thank you very much for your comment. Your next comment's from Kirsty M. And she's written, I've never had a goat pie filling like the princess one. I'll give it a go. Lots of ideas as always. Well, thank you for watching, Kirsty. Yeah, the princess uh, chicken and white sauce in the can is what I use a lot of times, you know, for a qu very quick chicken pie. But what I'll do is, in a pan, I'll saute some mushrooms and I'll fry off some bacon. I'll add them together and add it to this, you know, in a wee bit of butter and a wee bit of a wee bit of extra milk just to kind of water it down a wee bit and that does make a very quick and easy and tasty pie filling and just throw some pastry over the top and you've got yourself a kind of pie you know because it can take a wee bit of time to make a pie from scratch so I find that that it, you know it really does do the job. The chicken and the white sauce on its own can be a bit bland so that's why I'll add you know just fry off some mushrooms and butter add in some bacon, brown all that together and then add it to the can of chicken and white sauce. Give it a good stir together and it is really tasty. So give it a go and let me know if you do. And thanks for your comment. 
The next comment is from Bibina. Hi Bibina, and she's written, love that Jasper, mine's always trying to sniff everything and even trying to break into the bag. <laughs> so I have to hurry and put them away quick. Well, I don't have any dogs, which I think that would more, be more of a problem if you had dogs, but yeah, he's very nosy. He comes through as soon as he hears bags coming and he, he does watch you, you know, as you're taking things out of the bag, like I said, and to see if there's anything for him because I reckon he can recognise what's for him. <laughs> Lovely to see you. The next comment's from Joe Smith. Hi Jo, she's written Great Hall, Cress now, there, there's a blast from the past Egg and Cress sandwiches, yum yum Yeah Jo, when I seen this You know, it's not something I spot very often But whenever I do, I immediately think Of my mother's salads In the late 80s and early 90s This always made an appearance on a, a sort of um, lettuce, tomato, cucumber type salad. Yeah, that there's always cress on the place. But yeah, I know it's very popular with uh, um, egg and cress and mayonnaise. So yeah, thank you for your comment. Lovely to see you. The next comment's from Gary Boyd. Hi, Gary. He's written, congratulations, congratulations on 50k subs. Well, thank you very much for watching. You know, you are one of them and you have been around for such a long time now and it's always lovely to see you and read your comments. And thank you to you all, you know, for getting me to 40k. I'm just blown away. I can't believe it that you're out there all still liking what I'm doing. You know, it's nearly three, well, it's not quite three years yet. It'll be three years. I think on October since I started uploading videos to YouTube and it's just flown in and I could never imagine that I'd be sitting here with 40,000 of you so I'm just so touched and I just love it. Your next comments from Charlotte B. The browning of the beef that's where the flavour is. I see a lot of chefs not taking the time to brown the beef properly and end up with grey mince or stew. Lovely looking pies and uh, Charlotte's referring to <coughs> sorry the beef but the steak pies that I made the other day, yeah, I agree completely. This is a really important stage and not just pie making, but if you're making a stew in general to make sure your beef is properly browned, you know, it's going to give it a wonderful flavour at the end and a much better result, I think. So thank you very much for your comment and lovely to see you as well. Your last comment this week is another from Gary Boyd. So he's written, I have a feeling Mr. What's for Tea helped by reducing the products for a better frame fit in the camera. Yeah, I had four pies and one disappeared. So I was left with these three. So yeah, well noticed. Oh, yeah, you were absolutely right. It was indeed Mr. What's for Tea. He loves any kind of pies, but if there's meat and gravy in it, he's all over it quicker than you can see pie. <laughs> so thank you very much for your comment Gary and it is always lovely to see you like I said you have been around for a long time now and I always get a chuckle at your comments because you're quite a witty guy and I think a lot of other people in the comments section appreciate your comments as well so that's my wee video wrapped up for this week guys so thank you all for watching even just the meals of the week portion but if you're still here at this point you know that's that's just a wee bit extra special isn't it so th an extra thank you to you if you've hung on to this point like I said, I just love making these videos and I'll, I'll, I'll always will, you know, I'll continue to make them for as long as I can for many more years to come, hopefully. So that's me for this week and until next Sunday. But I will be back during the week for another wee recipe and of course the shopping haul. And I've got another two new subscription boxes coming up as well. So a wee bit of heads up for that. So I will be sure to share more information when I have them. And of course that 40k giveaway it's just around the corner so keep your eyes peeled for that so whenever you choose to join me again mind to take care of yourselves and i'll see you very soon so bye for now bye now